You're listening to the Smash Bros. Cast, episode 38. I'm your host, N64 Josh, player two, Nightcrawler. What's up, dude? Hey, we're, I guess we're mixing podcasts a little bit. <laughs> player two. <laughs> my co my co-host and stream and and sparring partner i don't care we're doing it live you're player two today <laughs> well we were all on the same podcast earlier this week anyway so yeah. yeah hey we're getting it's it's coming it's the hype trains are pulling out of the station totally is player three that's why we got players today because there's mm -hmm. three of us <laughs> yeah yeah you're you're in and yeah i know you're in nintendo powercast mode <laughs> B, what's going on? How are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm good. good. Sleepy, but I'm good. <laughs> Chat says it's player B instead of player three, so. Player so, B. Yeah. All right, that works. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, guys, before we jump into this, if you want to get yourself a free book from Audible, go to audibletrial.com slash SBC. The chair I'm sitting in is from OPC. If you go to n64josh.com slash OPC, you automatically save $10 at checkout. And if you'd like to get yourself an extra podcast each month for just a dollar, you can go to patreon.com slash n64josh. With that, we are going to get to our announcements. All right, we have a Smash tournament tonight, 3DS tourney, starting at 7 p.m. So if you want to sign up, the best thing to do is to jump into the Discord, n64josh.com slash Discord, and the pinned message on the Smash Bros. server is where you're going to find the, uh, the sign-up. Tomorrow night is the Wii U tournament, also starting at 7 p.m., and that, both of them, if you win one or the other or both you're going to end up with a copy of smash bros ultimate that's the uh, that's the prize for each one so uh yeah n64josh.com slash discord go to the smash bros server look for that pinned uh that pinned message for the details on how to sign up you can sign in starting at 6 p.m pacific standard time and the matches will start at seven tomorrow's night tomorrow night's tournament will be live on twitch crawler and i will be uh, doing some commentating. I'll mostly just be probably mocking him most of the time. That'll just be, <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa. You know, we kind of like yeah. to, we kind of like to dish it out. So um, it'll be a good time though. That's the that's the Smash tourney. Yeah, that's, Josh has uh, homework though. He's got to unlock a stage. No, Smashville. We unlocked it. I unlocked it last night. Uh, you did, or your son did? Quiet. Don't. <laughs> it's it still <laughs> happened. All right. It happened. It's, okay. It's At least it's happened. done. That's yeah. good. You got your homework done. Hey, let's get to our countdown. That's not the right music. There. There we go. All right. We're done with days. We're done with days. We're down to hours now. We're 150 hours and 37 minutes till Smash. Bro. Oh, We're man. done with days. Less than a week. <gasps> you know what I'm excited? Hours, 37 minutes. This is the last Friday that I'll have to play Smash 4 on the Wii U. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's bit. so sad. Well, I, <laughs> hey, no, it's, we've had fun. It's been a good run for us, short run. But I don't have to switch HDMI cables anymore, you know? Like, that's what I'm the most excited about. Right, right, right when OBS started, like, cooperating with you and not killing your stream. Exactly. Now you don't have to switch <laughs> Exactly. Now you just got to start Mario Maker stream, so you have to switch inputs. No, stop, 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 <laughs> stop. We'll wait for that to come to the Switch next year or the year <laughs> after. So, um, okay. Well, we are going to talk to our guest, B at Ghoul Runnings on Twitter, Instagram, right? Yes, both Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, let's uh, and Twitch too, I assume. Um, my Twitch handle is actually Ghoul Runnings, but instead of the O, there's a zero. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. All right. Yeah, like, what is that other person doing with that name? Are they, do they even stream? Okay, um, I actually, like, <laughs> contacted Twitch support about that, and apparently they use the channel. Like, they use the channel to, like, watch other channels, so I can't get it, which is kind of silly, but okay. <laughs> man, oh, man. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Let's maybe we can set up a like a GoFundMe or something to see what the what the rate is, so we can we can pay him for the the <laughs> the channel. Right. So let's let's talk about you and Smash. Who who is your main? 
Okay, well, I actually kind of, towards the end, I just, like, started using a lot of different people. Like, um, I guess the past few times I've been playing, I've been using Bayo. <laughs> And I really, really like Bayonetta. Like, honestly, I know. I know. But <laughs> she's really fun. She's just so fun to use. Like, I was kind of, like, losing my passion for Smash a little bit. And then I started picking her up. And she's just a blast. Like, it's, I have it's so fun much when you fun. Have, it's fun when you have priority. <laughs> yeah, that. But she, there's just so much to do with her. And it's, like, there's so much to learn. Because um, my mains before that were Corin, um, Fox, and then kind of DDD. I was using DDD a lot. And um, I don't know. It's just like I was getting bored. I was getting so bored with them. So I, when I picked up Bayo, it just like kind of, I feel like opened up like new avenues for me, if that makes sense. Oh, I, she, I could not wait to, to download Bayo. Like I didn't even, like I played <laughs> very infrequently, but I was just like, you know, I had played the, the her other games and was like, oh, she's going to be a great addition. No, I yeah. had having no idea that she was broken or anything like that back when she came out. So I was like, oh, yeah, this is this is who I play as all the time. You know, and then, <laughs> so are you are you looking to carry all those forward or are you looking to switch it up a little bit? Um, I don't know. I've literally touched Smash Smash Ultimate two times. I've played two games and I've tried two different characters. I just like how the game feels overall. But I'm not someone that, like, kind of plays a character because I like that character, like, their games or whatever. I just, like, I like whoever fits my play style. So I'm going to have to experiment with everybody before I even decide on who I want to mean. So have you, have you played the E3 build then, or have you played the, the newest tour that's out right now with the whole roster? Oh, yeah, I played the one with the whole roster. Lucky. And who did you play as? Who? What? What? What characters? Um, my first game, I went, I went Roy, and I won. <laughs> and then the second game, I went Ness. Out of all the characters I could have picked, I picked two characters that have existed in the game for a really long time. But that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a lot of fun though. Like it, it was only two minutes, but it just it felt so good, even with the pro controller. So I can't wait to like actually have the game. Oh, I, we we understand. We understand. <laughs> so yeah. let's let's talk about your history with the game. Then, like, did it start with the sixty four? Where did it all start? It started with Smash sixty four when I was a little baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have been playing Smash like casually for basically my whole life. Like Nintendo in general, I kind of just like grew up with like a Game Boy in my hand at all times. So. Like, I've just been growing up with Smash, and I only entered the competitive scene, like, I think two years ago. And so I've been, like, a decently large part of it since then. So, yeah. Okay. All right. And then when did it kind of transition to more than casual? Um, well, I was watching tournaments back when Brawl was a thing. Um, so... I never, like, knew how to, like, get to one, though. Like, I, I didn't know anyone in real life that played. I didn't know where there were locals or anything. So I just never ended up going to tournaments until um, my first tournament, which was... Or my first major, which was Smash Con 2017. But... So I guess I was watching Brawl for, like, a, a really long time. From, like, probably the beginning of it until it ended and then I started watching Smash 4. I wasn't keeping up with it a lot, but towards like the middle I started watching a lot of Smash 4 and that's what kind of like made me want to do it like for myself, I guess. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And then you ended up competing, right? Yeah, a little bit. How, and how did that go? Like what what were the nerves like? Like what like kind of just break that experience <laughs> down for us? It went poorly. <laughs> I'm not like. I honestly think I'm good at the game. I think I'm good at Smash, but I have really bad performance anxiety, mm. and I get kind of flustered w around people that I don't know. 
And due to my work schedule, I wasn't able to go to my locals as often as I would have liked. So I just like kind of felt like really, really nervous and anxious every time I was there. So I would just do awful. <laughs> but in friendlies and like in doubles, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> what were some of your biggest takeaways from from going and playing and just, I mean, and kind of just putting yourself out there to, to be able to do that, knowing you have that anxiety, that kind of stuff. Like what were some of the things you took away from that experience? Um, one of them was no one's going to like make fun of me. That was like my biggest thing. I, that's been a thing for me, like growing up all the time. I'm like afraid to like go do something. Cause I'm like, Oh, someone's going to make fun of me. Like, it's like, no, those are just nerves telling you that, you're stupid and ugly like you know what i mean <laughs> like i hear those nerves no every day like <laughs> no one's like going home and be like oh did you see her like trying to compete like what an idiot and that was just like i don't know i just let my nerves get the best of me all the time and the more that i played and the more that i like went to um tournaments and like ended up going to majors i'm like no one's actually saying that and if they are like who cares like who actually cares you know what i mean so you'd say for the most part, your experience was pretty positive then? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I love Smash and I love going to tournaments and I love just like being around the people. It's it's like a second home to me, basically. Like, this is what I do now. Like, this is my life. You know what I mean? So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have there Has there been any just like craziest moments for you in Smash, whether it be like you know, some, some crazy move you pulled off or being at a tournament and seeing some crazy stuff happen. Like, is there anything that, that comes to mind with that question? Um, not for me in tournament. I've never done anything that impressive, <laughs> but, um, my first major experience at smash con was just like the whole experience was crazy to me. I even now say that I think, like, even if you play at a casual level, because that's basically, like, what I was doing at that time. Even if you play at a casual level and you don't really think that you can fit in at, like, a Smash tournament, like, where there's, like, professionals, it's, like, I still think everyone should, like, have that experience because there's so much to do, you know? So, I don't know. Just, like, seeing all the players that, like, I once was, like, fangirling over at one time and like seeing them in person and watching like sets like in person and like being there for grand finals it was really cool i think everyone like needs to have that experience yeah absolutely. yeah we're, we're gonna get baptized by fire here in february oh yeah yeah because we we both both josh and i haven't even been to a local and we're gonna go to genesis <laughs> oh you're going to genesis oh shit <laughs> exactly exactly are you entering yes yeah 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 we're hoping, we're hoping i think i think we've talked about it we need to uh our goal is to uh take one stock yep. i think off somebody that's, that's all right cool. baby steps that's well you have what like a month to practice <laughs> yeah i almost come back here it's crazy like i i can almost <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could go to Genesis. It's so far. Yeah, that's a long flight for you. <laughs> oh so, yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Cool. This is uh, this is awesome. It's it's I, I I love hearing just people's stories and history with the game and stuff. So it's great. It's great. Let's uh, let's let's move on to our news. All right, Crawler, kick us yeah. off here. What do we got? All right, so Source Gaming was able to translate uh, Zachary's, uh, I think it's his like weekly blog or whatever, and uh, he discussed why kind of a little bit going into the the lore and the the canon reasons why Kirby is the uh, the chosen one and he's, he's Neo in the Matrix for Smash. Um, and it... <laughs> It, it kind of goes into detail as, I think, so what were the three characters that were uh, possible? It was Bayo, Kirby, and uh, Palutena, yeah. I believe. Yep. And uh, so the, the main 
a, any kind of regular regular character. I, who knows what that means in <laughs> in the sense of Nintendo, but <laughs> um, regular characters were off the table, and then it pretty much just presented itself that Kirby's Warp Star could warp, and so that was the vehicle as such to get away from. What was what was the name of the enemy in the the article in in World of, World of Light? I forget what. I don't he, have he it in front it. of me, but it was like Galeem or something like that. Yeah. Um. So whatever spawning all the master hands. Um. So Kirby escapes, and so it just happens to be a happy coincidence, I guess, that uh, Sakurai's baby is uh the chosen one. Coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> Locust well, from the chat says. <laughs> He said the Smash community would have imploded if Bayonetta was the chosen one. Oh, yeah. It would have been over. Oh, my gosh. Reddit would have erupted. It would have been been glorious. I kind of wish they did that now. Honestly. Right? (laughs) What if it was just Waluigi as the assist trophy that made it? What if he was on the Warp Star? Oh, Oh, yeah. Forget it. So, so yeah, that was, I mean, you know, cause initially everybody's like, oh, of course it's Kirby. He's the favorite Kirby's the, fa-. but like there's, there was a little more to it than that little, little more to it. And so, um, this is this next, this is interesting guys. And we're going to kind of leave this one to you guys to form an opinion on it and stuff. But like, we tried to do a little bit of research on this and, and tried to get to the bottom of it because we want you guys to be able to make informed decisions when it comes to the controllers that you're planning on using for smash and and when it comes to input lag and things like that. And so there was a Reddit post that got put up yesterday. That was like, um, uh, basically the guy said, Hey, I couldn't find videos that I liked. So I made this one. And his conclusion was that the GameCube <laughs> has more, the GameCube controller and with the adapter, has more input lag than the pro controller plugged in and even uh, and the the least amount of input lag according to his test was a wireless pro controller and so we had a ton of like red flags going like (laughs) what like this does not quite seem accurate crawler dug up a video uh by gigaboots right that's the video that we yeah that i i I had seen this earlier uh, on, I think in my local Facebook group for Smash, I'd seen this video, and then half the people on the Reddit post were like, "Oh, okay, it's, I guess it's time to pick up a pro controller." Like they were all in on it, believing it. But then the other half were kind of like, "Well, this contradicts this video and other sources," and and it seemed like it was just kind of somebody on Reddit putting something together that didn't maybe quite know how to. I mean, the iPhone is able to shoot at, like, I think, like 240 frames a second. I think something crazy in, in slow-mo. So that's kind of a rudimentary, easy do-it-yourself kind of uh, frame test if you want to do it. But you have to be consistent with how you're doing the button presses. You have to make sure that the button press is happening in frame with the, the screen. And you have a, a, a monitor that can show X number of frames a second as well. So... I don't think maybe this this person on Reddit did maybe their due diligence on getting a really well controlled test environment for for this test because obviously I think four four and a half frames for the wired or wireless pro controller is very off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems a little little fishy, a little yep. fishy. I mean. It, what was funny to me is just like even when you I think cause were we talking about this yesterday in Discord or I don't it was just kind of like you were like there there are things happening oh I remember my initial thought was like hey did the guy happen to post his affiliate link to a pro controller in that Discord <laughs> thing so that like it's like hey pro controller's way to go here's the link if you need it you know like <laughs> I'll take my one percent of seventy <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> So anyway, the we, I have a link to the video in the show notes, guys. N64josh.com slash SBC38. Um, you'll see it there if you click Gigaboots in the in the uh, in the notes. You can check out the video that we're talking about. That seems to be the most conclusive evidence that the uh, GameCube controller is the best option for input mm-hmm. lag. And he did. I think he did most of his frame data with Mega Man 11. Yeah, that is correct. Yep. <laughs> That is correct. So, 
Um, so check it out. So, you make your own make okay. your own decision. But I'm still going GameCube. <laughs> you know, like yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with. So what? So so a thing happened this week, Josh. Are you a little little spicy about it? A thing happened. Are you talking yeah. about our next point? Our next thing in the news here? Yeah. The the leak. Yeah. Oh my a, a, a retailer in Mexico decided that they had a game and they were ready to sell it. So yeah. Like, I, I guess they just called up their pre-orders and told them to come pick up their game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, basically, right now, like we're we're casting in the Smash Bros. Ultimate directory on Twitch. That's where we're at right now. I don't. I didn't check before we started, but this morning when I woke up, there was somebody streaming Ultimate. Like I can't imagine. Uh. If Nintendo finds that channel, like I don't think it's going to end well for them. You know that would be. They've my... been striking all of the um, ultimate music that was data mined out of the leaks. Like they took down like two channels, I think, mm. that were that was posting um, the Smash Ultimate music. So <laughs> they're not playing around. No, no. The, I've heard different different podcasts and stuff talking about the Nintendo ninjas going out and and taking care of business. <laughs> so you've been warned. You know. No. They got they got stealth stealth looking out for him. <laughs> I've, yeah, w- there's been articles written about people talking about the. Um, yeah, know. was that was that Polygon? Polygon, yeah. I think, quoted stealth or interviewed stealth and a few other uh, people on Twitter and stuff like that. Yeah, it's 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 been getting traction. <laughs> yeah, someone in chat's like, "Whoops!" goes into hiding. <laughs> <laughs> so what was funny is I'm watching these guys play this morning because it was just multiplayer. Like I'm like, ah, you know, I'll check it out, whatever. And there was only 112 people at the max, which was crazy. I figured it would be be a lot more, but I don't, you know, it was it was like 5 a.m. Uh, they they don't want to probably be that popular because if they get more popular, then they're gonna yeah. get noticed, and then then your account's done. Well, what they said was they started streaming in a different directory, so nobody would find nobody would find them. Right, they were just letting their friends know or whatever. I'm like, why are you playing with this fire? Like, if you enjoy like, streaming on Twitch, like, why are you doing this? It's about just as bad as trying to stream like a pay per view fight or something like that on Twitch. Right, right. <laughs> but I mean, these, I mean, hey, they were getting the follows and stuff. So I mean, maybe, maybe it worked. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're less than we're less than a week away. So, um, but if if you know, and this is what's kind of interesting because it's like, look, Smash is a fighting game. There's really, I mean. We know there is a story mode and stuff, but there's at the end of the day, there's not going to be that many spoilers with with this kind of game. But like, some people are like really sensitive with that stuff. So like, if you are, be careful online because you know you'll see stuff in co- like on comments on on YouTube videos that don't even have anything to do with you know. I've had stuff spoiled like that before. Like, so yeah. just you know, be be. And careful there, I mean, with- there's been some character stuff coming out with people already calling for certain characters to be banned and. I mean, oh, I've yeah. seen, I've seen something with, with a certain one-time top top play or top character in one of the previous games being very strong in this one. So we'll see, we'll see what we'll see what the day one patch brings next week. Okay, let's 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 stop right here for a second. What's the coolest thing you guys have seen so far from the Twitter? We're, we're going to call them Twitter combos because that's what I see everybody else calling them. What's the coolest Twitter combo you guys have seen so far? Um, Peach has some really, or Peach and Daisy, they look sick. Um, <laughs> uh, I've seen a lot of cool stuff. Inkling has some really cool looking nair chains. Whoa, yeah. That I'm probably not going to be able to do, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, DDD can spit out projectiles, like catch mm. them and spit them back out. I think that looks sick, and that's probably really cool for combos. Um, I haven't like, I've seen so much cool stuff already, but I, I've I just like. It. I've I've also seen that you don't want to get grabbed by a Cineroar close to the edge at all. Oh yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, that's oh, like man. he. I think what is it? An up throw, and then his. And then the down B or something like that, and it spikes him like diagonally off the stage, and then he can climb back up and get back up there. Ridiculous. <laughs> so seeing uh, seeing some wolf gameplay was pretty impressive. Crawler, you were telling me about Young Link and Wolf and Wolf going right through the yeah, stage. Well, this this ties in, I think, to Lilat being 
officially has it already officially been banned by pretty much every to i believe so maybe chat can can let us know for sure but lilat is having problems with uh ledge grabbing even in no in hazards off and then yesterday a friend of the show vicky kitty i i I don't don't know where it originated from but she had liked it or retweeted it or something like that i saw a young link up b wolf when they were both kind of under the stage on the right hand side and wolf just flew through the stage to the blast zone on the left hand side of the stage just went through the through the stage didn't bounce off the bottom just went through the uh the main platform and then the other platform as well just kept going <laughs> great just gone yeah oh it's about time honestly <laughs> it's really about time <laughs> those uh, and the the platforms are just too short they're I, lila that's hard I was crying. I was laughing so hard at the match that everybody kept retweeting. You see Kirby oh, do Kirby his... was a Kirby, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he does oh, his yeah? sword. And just, Kirby, yeah, just gone. Just gone. It, looked like, it looked like Kirby was Cloud with a cloud that didn't know how to grab the edge or something. Yeah. <laughs> it really did. Yeah, it... that's literally what it looked like. It was so bad. And, like, I'm kind of glad that that uh, wolf video came out, though, because um, everyone was just like, it's no, nah, it's just a Kirby thing. But who knows? It could get patched. It won't, but it could. So, <laughs> who knows? Bye, Lila. <laughs> I'm fine without it. Yep. The uh, the other thing I've been been seeing, hearing a lot about is uh, is Isabel, right? And her her grabs <laughs> from off stage, and some other things I can't remember off the top of my head. But like, I, I I'm I'm genuinely concerned about this game and how many patches it's going to be like. Like we're gonna we're gonna be like oh I finally finally have my main boom patched okay I finally have my main patched you know like it's just I I have a feeling especially watching we've mentioned it on here plenty of times but the way Nintendo addressed Aces and and how they they fixed that game so quickly was that three was that three weeks it was like two or three weeks and they had the yeah. first patch out then, and yeah I didn't even know that. Yeah, Bowser Jr. was uh, the community spoke and they listened. Yeah, I like I played the the campaign and then that was that was it. <laughs> I played the game for like maybe like eight hours and I was like, all right, that was fun. <laughs> so, well, that, but now, like, well, side note, I think doubles is coming here soon today. Or, is it today or next week? Sometime I don't even know. Oh, but, is it? Yeah, yeah, doubles tournaments. Good. Yep. Yeah. So. But yeah, so it's it's been it's been fun. I kind of feel like a kid at Christmas that finds his gifts and he's like unwrapping them a little bit and seeing what he got and then wrapping it back up like when those I'm, Twitter I'm, combos. So show up. I'm 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 that kid at Christmas. I want to know what I'm getting. But like th- for this, like when I'm scrolling through Twitter, I see stuff like I've seen the Meta Knight stuff, and that's another sick combo that uh, is scary, <laughs> ridiculous. Um, yeah, but so I've seen the Ice Inner stuff. I've seen Meta Knight. I, I've kind of just trying to been scroll through. I see the 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 obvious stuff that is homebrewed and and rommed, and I, I skip it, and I don't. I, I almost don't want to see it, even if it's just sitting in the in the training room. I don't want to see it at this point. And I'm fully going to embrace content creators that put out content here on the seventh, eighth, ninth of December when everyone has it, and probably Nintendo's working on right now striking anything that is proven uh, ultimate gameplay up on YouTube anyway right now. And so those people are probably going to have to remake their content anyway and get a new, probably get a new YouTube page maybe too. So I'm, and I'm also just skeptical of the stuff if it's from the the Japanese tournament that was a couple weeks ago or the the Spain stuff or anything that is actually official it's it's almost hard to tell there is some stuff that's blatant that you can tell people took uh, because they couldn't screen capture or something like that so it's their phone shooting their tablet or their TV and you can tell that that's the the, the illegitimate stuff but I I'm just trying to stay away from it as much as I can <laughs> I just, I don't want to see it because it's making me want the game so bad. <laughs> That's the only reason I can't look at it anymore. <laughs> I, I have not been this excited for a game in a very, very long time. Like, it literally, I think we were, I was mentioning on stream earlier today, like, it feels, 
like being a kid at Christmas where you're like, will it just get here already? Like, like, you know, I remember when we started this and here in like, you know, seven months and five months and you know, whatnot, but it's like, we're at six days really, you know, because I'm on the, we're on the West, I'm on the West coast. So I get it at nine o'clock on Thursday. So I'm like, let's, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Can I just sleep? I just want to sleep till then. And then just stream for like, pull, pull, pull an Eric Cartman waiting for the Wii. Just go get buried out in the snow and be woken up when it's go freeze yourself. <laughs> yes. That's see, you understand me. See, I, I, you, you, you get it. You get it. So, all right. Well, Hey guys, this is, this is kind of sad, but this is the last time we're going to go to the smash blog and like hear the music and, and check the care unless they keep going. But I mean, they, this, might, they might, they haven't touched on, I mean, they've only, Oh, they've only scratched, scratched the, surface. the surface. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, Hey, let's, uh, let's check out the, uh, smash blog. Okay, well, the first post is uh, actually, is it started the cook, the chef? Yes. Yeah, the chef. So, Chef Kawasaki's assist trophy from one of the few games I beat this year. We, we, we found that out ahead of time. Uh, he grabs <laughs> opponents using his long ladle and mixes them into a pot. The unlucky opponent will continue to take damage as the chef cooks up. Uh, healthy recovery items. You can then use his food to recover your health. Just don't think about the recipe. Ugh. <laughs> Yikes. It's like, is that Hannibal Lecter or Chef? <laughs> That's a yikes, man. Uh, uh, next up, we have, uh, we have Diddy Kong. Want to take that one, Crawler? Yeah, so uh, Donkey Kong's trusty partner, Diddy Kong, uses his lightweight and agility to get around quickly. Uh, for his final smash, Diddy takes to the air with his rocket barrel while firing his pop guns. His, uh, fi the final hit is seriously powerful. B, do you have the blog open right now? I do. You want to do Lucas? Yeah. Oh, wait, that's great because Earthbound is my favorite. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, like Ness, Lucas is a young boy who uses PSI powers. Some of the PSI moves share the same names, but since Lucas has different abilities... The moves may work differently. Be sure to try them out. For his final smash, he calls down a shower of meteors along with Kumatora and Boney. All right. So today's music. It says you can now listen to Nintendo Switch Presentation 2017 trailer BGM from the Legend of Zelda series. Enjoy this track, which you can't listen to in the main game. Arranged by Ryo Nagamatsu. Okay, so here we go. And it's a little bit operatic. So here we go. Let's check it out. Like I said, very, very operatic. <laughs> so it looks like, let's see. Oh, there we go. I finally got it back here. Um, Do you have the next one up? I can read it if you have it ready. Yeah, I'll go ahead and yeah, get it. All right. So uh, did you know Did you know that you can now listen to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate theme song? Uh, the Japanese vocals are done by Arena Konga. Koga? I don't know. We'll see how we say that. I'm Great. Not. Now she's and offended. The, We're going to get tweets. <laughs> <laughs> and the English vocals are sung by Abby Trot. So uh, we've checked this out. We'll just do a little, little, okay. little spot. Little Here taste. we go. Here's the Japanese version. All 
right. So there you go. That's the uh, that's the Japanese version there. You can check all that out um, on the blog page, and uh, it's main theme. Life light is at the very top if you want to check out both of those themes. So that's where that's where they are. So next up on the blog looks like uh, Suzaku Castle. Is that right? Yes. Here we go. Yep. My page wasn't loading. Um, this stage has a large platform on the right and two smaller ones on the left, depending on your fighting style. You might prefer one side over the other. This stage comes with music tracks for 16 characters. When the clock starts running, when the clock starts running out, or if your stock goes down to one, the music may get more intense. So that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Next up, we have uh, we have the uh, flies in hand assist trophy. You got this one, crawler. Sure. Uh, flies buzz around the stage, uh, and a hand holding a fly swatter uh, goes around swatting up a storm. Get caught in the swat storm, and you will uh, it will cause severe damage. So think like a fly and run away. <laughs> Don't get caught. <laughs> all right. And the last one here is Yoshi. You got this one, B. Yeah. Yoshi is all about egg-related moves like throwing eggs, swallowing opponents, and turning them into eggs, or turning into an egg and charging toward an opponent. With the high jump, recovery is a piece of cake for Yoshi, and for his final smash, a Yoshi army stampedes through the stage. The the memes for that, like killing Mufasa, is hilarious. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, that, that's that's good stuff. That's good stuff. All right. Well, hey, let's get to uh, let's get into our talking points here. Okay. So the first thing I want to bring up is I recently purchased the Smash Four Japanese um, white. GameCube controller, okay? And then I, I got a couple of the uh, Ultimate controllers, the GameCube ones, and I took the... Uh, I swapped the pieces, so my controllers are now black and white, both of them, one with a white top and black bottom and, and, and uh, so on. So what was happening, though, is my controller, the white controller, the triggers, if I was pushing too much pressure too low on the trigger, it actually would, it would jam. It wouldn't even move. And so I was really surprised by this because it's basically brand new. So I went in last night. I'm like, okay, it's time to do a little bit of time to do a little bit of surgery on this thing. Let's see if we can get it to get it figured out because it's the it's the one I really like. It's the one I want to use. It has the 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 black ultimate top and then the white bottom, and I, I like the way it looks. Well, what I ended up doing is I have an original black GameCube controller, and I opened it up and took those triggers out at least the guts of the trigger and put those guts inside with the with the existing triggers that I had the thing feels amazing now like it feels so good that gamecube control the uh, original black gamecube controller is going to have to get shelved like that'll <laughs> that's like I'm going to write mad cats on it and just let the like <laughs> <laughs> if anybody comes over that I'm not too fond of, I'll be like, yeah, you can use that controller, you know? <laughs> so, but yeah, it was cool. Just kind of get, getting to see, kind of learning the ins and outs of these controllers a little bit and how they work. And um, it was just loose that the, the housing that the uh, trigger sits on was just loose. And, and there was no way to, there's no way to really like fix it other than replacing it. So that's what I ended up doing. And it now I'm, I'm, it feels like my controller's broken in, right? Like where I have the old springs in there and it just, it feels, it feels really, really good. Really good. So um, next up, as far as uh, talking points, I just want to kind of talk progress for the week. And so um, Crawler, I'm going to let you, let you start with this. If uh, how, how's your, how's your week been as far as smash? Um, my my Pokemon playing kind of subsided a little bit this week, so I got a little bit back more back into Smash. Um, I, I've done a little bit of Four Glory. You and I did some games. What was I think we played probably almost every day this week, except for maybe like Tuesday. I think we've at least had at least one or two matches in because I think we played on Monday on, on your stream, and then Wednesday night we played, and then a few just a few games yesterday. And I think. Um, I'm excited to hop back in because I hadn't had a chance to watch um, your your hour long video with uh, Peon from 
from last was that middle of last week yeah from beyond that? the metagame from the other podcast yeah yeah um so taking some of the the points that he was pointing out about your game and and just in general tips for all of us to kind of go through um i'm excited to hop back in i haven't had a chance to since i've i've watched the video but um i know you had some progress against me on how you wanted to uh do some moves with with regards to like edge guarding and and spiking and all that kind of stuff but I feel confident in how I was playing enough that I was able to finish the matches when we were playing, and I, I gave you good Instagram fodder, but I was able to come come away victorious. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you'll you'll definitely be on my Instagram. Don't you <laughs> don't you worry, don't you worry. So uh, uh, Leo in the chat is saying uh, that that I've been killing it, pushing past that wall, and and he is a Toon Link main that like. His spacing is so so good, and as as a Mario main, I, I've I struggle, I struggle, and I finally, and and I and I knew this would be the case if I if I spent enough time playing against him. I don't, I don't pick up on on uh, patterns and being able to predict and that kind of stuff very quickly. Like it just takes me longer. That you know, I know that will improve in time, but right now it just takes me a little bit longer. Well, not only was I able to pick up on the things that I was doing that were getting punished, but I was able to start picking up on some of his things. And we, I, I did get one match, but it was a match that he bro stocked me, so I don't really count it, you know, <laughs> like, and so, uh, but I was able. So one of the things I did to help uh, improve my game this week is I went and watched. Um, there's a video of Ally's best spikes, like his top 10 spikes. And it is glorious. Go watch it. Like, Does go... it have full setup? Does it have the whole setup leading to the spike? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so <laughs> one of the things I really took away, because as, as Mario, the spike is a very useful tool, but it's also really easy to predict if you're jumping in the same spot every time and then trying to throw that fair. What he does so, like, beautifully is will fall with the opponent and wait till their their air dodge is done and then throw the fair and then get back up and so there were a few times uh this week that i was able to pull that off where basically like i followed the person down under the state like below the stage and then through that spike crawler we had a we had the match yesterday where like mm -hmm you just couldn't get back to the edge. And then when you finally went low, I just followed you down and finished you off and then was able to get back up to the, uh, um, get back up to the stage. And yeah, so, and then earlier, earlier this week, I also taunted you and got the Cape too. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's like, he literally tells me, come out here. I go out there and caped him and he, <laughs> he didn't, he didn't come back from that one. <laughs> <laughs> so but no that's been it, it's been huge for me as far as just like because i do feel like i'd kind of hit that wall with with smash and it's like i uh, you know i have a lot of people always come into the chat always come into the stream like oh do this do this do this and i'm like i okay yes i know i want to do this right like don't you see what they're doing no i don't i'm working on it like give me give me give me time and but I literally had a match this week, and I'm the best way I can describe it. If you guys remember uh, uh, the the first Spider Man with Tobey Maguire, when uh, Flash throws that punch at him, and he kind of step back, he steps back and just watches the punch go by. <laughs> like that's what the match felt like. I was like, "Hey, I'm I'm actually reading what my opponent is doing," and I, I felt like I was a step ahead the whole time. That happened once. It didn't, it, and it didn't happen after that. It was just one time that it was like all of the stars aligned, and it and it and it worked out. And it felt like okay, I can get there. I can get there. B, you've played, you played a long time. Do you remember those yeah. moments where it was like just frustrated? You're like, I know I can, I can get. I'm, I know I'm better than this. I know I can, I can, I can improve. But you kind of just, you're slowly working your way up the mountain. I still have those moments, honestly. Um, like, I've been at a place where I've been like, oh, I'm, I'm really, really, really good. And then I will play with a PGR player and I'm like, oh, I suck. And it's like, <laughs> it's good having friends that like are a lot better than you and like can tell you things because it's easy to like kind of 
look at your play and be like, okay, I'm doing this wrong. But it's not always easy to translate that into how you play. Like you can be like, this is what I'm supposed to do and I'm doing this wrong. But then you're you're it's it's habits, basically. Mm -hmm. You just it has a lot to do with breaking habits and that's like kind of one of the hardest things for me. So I still go through that, but almost every time I play, like I kind of like do my best to improve or like try a new character, even when I'm like doing friendlies now. And I honestly, I haven't played in a while, but it definitely like, it's definitely still something that I struggle with. It, and it, it is those habits. Like what I noticed with myself is like trying to use even if it's like, even if it's like three or four different ways to approach, those are the only three or four that I'll use and they don't work. Right. And the moment I mix stuff up, the moment I started doing more of like a, like a, a shield slide to a grab instantly, there was, there was stuff that was happening and I could watch my opponent change what they were doing. Like it was, you know, like literally they were like, wait a minute, you've been doing this the whole time. Now you're doing this. And what I was doing isn't working any longer. Right. And so it's, that's, I think for me, that's one of the hardest things. And I think if, if, uh, some people might relate to this, like as you get into this game and you learn your moves and you learn like, Oh, I can, I can do this for approach. I can do this for approach. Like, yes, all those things work, but they may not work against every character. And if you see yourself getting punished the same way over and over again, I was watching Toon Link's bomb hit me explode and go he would go right to his fair and send me flying and reset neutral and it was like this is not working for me like what do i got to do to avoid this bomb right that and that became like if you guys watch that video that that um crawler was talking about it's breaking down those little scenario like the little scenarios within the match that you're like okay this is a problematic this is problematic that bomb needs to be I need to shield, I need to cape it, or I need to catch it, which the, catching it is the, the, the least viable option because you gotta be like frame perfect. It's, it happens, but um, so. Usually, for me, it's usually by accident I catch it. Yeah, same, I wouldn't say anything, I wouldn't say otherwise, it's just hitting my shield. Like, oh, I have a bomb in my hand. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. But as soon as you can start mixing that stuff up, that's when you can start putting yourself in advantage in neutral versus um, just, uh, just being at the disadvantage the entire time. And so that was, that was like a, like a pretty big breakthrough for me. And so, and the other thing I want to mention too, is I put out a video. I had so many people asking, we've mentioned it on the show, like people want tips for beginners, right? And like, we're in the thick of being beginners. Like we're, we're grinding, like we're putting, we're putting the time in. Somebody asked me, they're like, if you played more, we, you, than you have played, uh, your switch in the last seven months? And I think the answer is probably yes. And, <laughs> and, and that's okay. Like I'm, I'm like, I'm fine with that. That's why I'm so hyped for this, this game. I had other people ask me like, are you afraid you're going to burn out? I'm like, no, because I've, I've enjoyed learning so much the last seven months. And now I get to start that learning process all over again. Sure. Things will carry over and I'll have a little bit of a head start maybe but there's still going to be so much to learn so many characters to learn that kind of stuff. And so, uh, uh, I put together this video and this blog post it's on n64josh.com. It's on my YouTube channel. It's just five, five tips for beginners. And, um, the, the thing that I have people tweeting at me about or messaging me about is one of the points is to play with people that are better than you and be prepared to eat humble pie because it is the breakfast of champions, <laughs> right? Like that's just the way it is. Is it fun to go into four glory and just end up with somebody that you can stomp? Of course it is. But are you learning much from that? No. Like I had a guy I beat twice and I was like, I can't like as much as I want to stay here for my ego, I'm going to leave because I just need to, I, I, I use four glory to get, to get better at the game, you know? And so, um, it's just, it, it's a process, you know, uh, locust from the chat says smash is so much of a game of, 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 uh, of inches that way. Right. Like it, it, and that's really the case. Like you just, uh, y you just keep playing till you, till you get better. I had somebody on Reddit be like, I don't want somebody to tell me to practice more. I'm like, well, I'm like, I, 
I made sure to say practice with intent, right? Like, so that you're not just, because people can say, oh, I play every day, but like, what, are, what is your mindset going into playing? Is it just, is it just so that you can say, I put the time in? Because you may not be improving all that much, but are you really focused on what you're doing? Are you recording yourself? Are you watching back what you did? That's when you're going to start seeing that improvement. And uh, so that's, it, it's been a fun week. It's been a fun week, but uh yeah, I think I think that's going to do it for this one. So B, can you let everybody know where they can find you? Okay. Um, I tweet almost every minute on twitter.com slash schoolrunnings. <laughs> and I stream almost every night on twitch.tv slash schoolrunnings, but with a zero and not an O. But yeah, so thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it a lot. Oh, yeah. It's been, it's been, it's been a ton of fun. Crawler, where can we find you, bud? Uh, you guys can find me hanging out in Josh's Discord, uh, n64josh, n64josh.com slash Discord. Um, also, I have gotten my stream up and running a little bit more. Uh, I've been playing some uh, Hollow Knight a little bit, but definitely going to be, I think Josh and I are going to be hopping in kind of together on, on launch night playing some Ultimate. Um, so yeah, check us out there, uh, Nightcrawler724 on Twitch and also on uh, Twitter as well right on guys you can follow me on twitter at n64 josh instagram snapchat all the places facebook farmers only it's all n64 josh the music you're hearing right now is metal melee theme you can check the video out at n64 josh.com slash metal melee if you want to get yourself a free book from audible go to audibletrial.com slash sbc the gaming chair i'm sitting in is from op seat and if you go to n64 josh.com slash op seat you'll automatically save ten dollars at checkout <laughs> chat is like farmers only it, i'm just joking <laughs> i'm joking so we have a ton of resources in these show notes guys n64 josh.com slash sbc 38 is where you can find um, all the links mentioned here again come hang out in the discord a lot of good people we got that tournament this weekend and i got big stuff planned for the stream next uh i believe saturday i'm going to try to do um, a really long stream with uh, lots of prizes. So hopefully we'll see you there. Thank you so much for listening and we'll see you next time. Bye now. <laughs>